Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to root your HTC One device and also it will install a custom recovery such as Clockwork Mod or Torp Recovery. So, what you can do now is uh, you actually have to first unlock your bootloader on your device. Unlocking the bootloader will allow you to root it. I do have a video showing you how to do that. It's not very difficult. I will link to it in the description of the video. So the first step process is to unlock your bootloader. So make sure that's unlocked. Once you have it unlocked, you can come back to this video and go ahead and follow these steps. It's actually quite easy. So what you can do now is you don't have to worry. No data is going to be wiped when following this process. This will be the simplest and easiest process. It should work on the International at t and Sprint variant of the HTC One as of now. So it should work just fine on those. I recommend Twerp Recovery personally, so that's what I'm going to be installing. Now the first step is to actually download a folder that I have on my website. It's actually the folder that you downloaded to unlock the bootloader. If you do not have that folder, I will link to it in the description of the video. So click on that, make sure you download it, um, and then what you can do is actually go back to your computer. That folder I had you download is called OneDrivers underscore Fastboot. You can double click on it and inside it is some, some goodies for you. You'll see the drivers are right here. If you have not, I'm assuming you don't have to worry about it because your bootloader is unlocked. So I wouldn't worry about the drivers, but inside you'll see a Fastboot folder. This is what we're going to essentially need is to put some files into that Fastboot folder. So you can double click on that and inside you should see these five files. Now if your bootloader is unlocked, you'll see your unlock code as well. So next you're gonna need to go back to my website and then go ahead and actually go to this Team Win Recovery website. It'll take you to this site right here. So you'll see Twerp 2.5. You can actually click on Get Twerp for your device. It'll load up this screen. You can just type HTC One in. And up at the top, you'll see uh, Twerp for HTC One M7 and Twerp for HTC One Sprint USA M7 WLS. So make sure you download the correct one for AT&T and International. M7 works just fine. For the Sprint, you need to use this Sprint specific variant. So I have the Sprint model, so I'm gonna download this one. But if you have the International AT&T model, make sure you download the M7 one. So click on it. It will take you to this screen. What you can do is scroll down and you'll see download the newest .img file from here, the image file. So click on that and then it will take you to this site. Just click on it, download it. Uh, it'll run through the, the download. Let it download. Once it's done downloading, actually, we're going to need to bring it over to that Fastboot folder. All right, so have it done downloading. You'll see Open Recovery, Twerp. Uh, yours might just say M7 instead of WLS at the end. What you can do is right click on it and just hit Cut. And then go back to that folder, that fast boot folder that I had you guys open up earlier and just paste it inside that folder. So just go ahead and hit paste. So very simple there. We need to get this twerp recovery file into our folder. And finally, what you're going to need to do is I actually just added this now. I'm, I'm going to upload it pretty soon, but I added this folder called SU inside of it. There's a couple zip files, whether you want super SU or super user. It's up to you, uh, whichever one you want. I'm going to use super SU personally. It does not matter. Both of them work fine, but you're going to need to transfer that over to your internal storage of your device. So plug it on into your PC. Um, it's going to need to mount. I need to, it looks like I need to plug in and find another power source. So let me plug my laptop in real quick. But let the drivers install. Let this HTC One pop up. Open device to view files. And then you'll see internal storage comes up. What you can do is actually right click on this. Hit copy. Copy the file over to your internal storage of your device. Very simple. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit paste. And then you'll see that super SU zip file is on my device now. All right, got my laptop all plugged in, but you'll see you did transfer that zip file on over. You can now actually unplug your device. You do not need it plugged in anymore once you have that zip file on your device. And we're ready to go. We need to type in some commands. So go back to that OneDrivers Fastboot folder. Double click on the Fastboot folder. And then what you can do is actually hold shift, right click, and then hit open command window here. Again, you need to make sure you have that twerp image file there. Hit open command window here, and a command prompt will open up. All right, once you have this command window open up, we need to actually get our device into our bootloader. You should know how to do that by now. You can just press and hold the power button, press restart, hit restart, and then just press and hold the volume down button while it's rebooting. Again, you can just power it off, press and hold the power button and volume down at the same time, and it should do the same thing. We just need to get our device into the bootloader. All right, here we go in the bootloader now. Again, it needs to say unlocked up at the top. Your bootloader does need to be unlocked. Now also what you're going to need to do is while highlighting fast boot, press the power button and get the device into fast boot mode. So make sure it does say fast boot in red. Once it does, you can plug our device into our PC. So plug it on in, 
we should be good to go now. Uh, we can type in some command prompts. So before we actually type in any commands, we can actually go to that folder that we have right here. And what you can do is on that twerp image file, just go ahead and highlight everything um, and copy it. Yours might not say .img at the end. If it does not, just copy the name. So just copy the name. You can, you're gonna need to add .img at the end. So make sure you just right click, hit copy, copy the full name of the file to our clipboard. And then what we can do is actually go back to our command prompt and type in fast boot space. And then we're gonna need to type flash space recovery space. And then what you can do is paste that file that we just copied. Right click up at the top, highlight edit, and hit paste. So it's gonna paste that entire file name. You need to add dot img at the end if it's not already there make sure it doesn't say dot img dot img just one dot img if it didn't copy so uh the file name dot img and then what you can do is just press enter let me go ahead and grab my device real quick so you can see what it does all right so just go ahead and press enter it'll say sending recovery and it should say finish it didn't take long at all it wasn't a long process now we're going to need to type one more thing just type in fast boot space erase space cache, C-A-C-H-E, and press enter. It's just gonna erase the cache real quick. No data is gonna be wiped, you don't have to worry about that. So now we're ready to go. We have twerp installed on our device. We can now root the device. So we can go back to our phone. All right, now once we have our phone, we don't really need it plugged in anymore. You can actually unplug it now. Uh, so once it's plugged in, uh, highlight where it says bootloader and press the power button. And then it will take us back to here and then press volume down once and highlight recovery and press the power button. What that's going to do now is take us into that twerp recovery that we just flashed and we should be ready to go. Um, let it load on up. All right, so my device rebooted for whatever reason. Um, what I'm going to do now is just go back into that bootloader and follow the same process. So if your device reboots, don't worry, just get back into that bootloader. All right, now we're back into that bootloader. Up at the top, you'll also notice it now says tampered as well. That's because we installed that custom recovery, no big deal. What now we can do is go ahead and highlight recovery once more and press the power button and hopefully it now goes into it. It says entering recovery. So yeah, it looks like it did need to do that re reboot, which is no big deal. Uh, now we are in twerp recovery. So we're ready to go. The first thing I highly recommend doing, make sure you do this actually, is making an Android backup. So go ahead and go to the backup button. It's a full touch screen recovery and make sure you back up boot, data, and system. Uh, and once you have those backed up, hit swipe to back up. It'll go ahead and run through and back up our system. This is before we're rooted actually. So if you ever did for whatever reason want to go back to stock, um, what you can do is actually restore this backup. It'll bring us back to stock. And then you need to find the stock recovery for your device. You can use the same commands and flash your stock recovery. I'll actually do a how to unroot video um, as well to show you guys all this process. So don't really worry about that. But let the backup run through. It'll take a bit of time. It's gonna be a very large file. So make sure you have this backup and I'll be back. All right, so it says backup is complete. It took 110 seconds, depending on how many files you had on your device, it could take longer. But we're not done yet, so don't hit reboot system. You can just go ahead and press the back arrow, go back back to your home screen, actually. And once we're there, we are ready to actually root the device. Uh, get super user installed or super SU, whichever one you put on your device. But now just go ahead and go to the install button and then find that, that zip file we transferred over, either that super SU or super user zip select it, and then just hit swipe to confirm flash. It's gonna go ahead and install super SU or super user on your device, and that's it, we're ready to go. Go ahead and hit reboot system now, and that is it. We should be done, actually. We should be fully rooted, and you have uh, finished the process to double check. I will show you, actually, I'll actually show you how to double check and make sure you are fully rooted. And then after this, um, I will be doing a full video on how to actually get free hotspot tethering. I'll do a separate video so to not cl clutter all the videos. I can compile them easier. So uh, check that video out if you are fully rooted. Let it boot up, and I will be back. All right, now that my phone has fully booted up, you can go ahead and go into your app drawer, scroll down, and you will either see super user or super SE, whichever one you have installed, and we should be good to go to double check. Go into the Play Store and download an app called Root Checker. Install it, download it. It shouldn't take long. It's a very small application. Uh, so it's installing, and there it is, Root Checker Basic. Go ahead and go into it and agree and hit OK, or you can follow Joey Krim as well, and verify root access. It's gonna go ahead and you need to grant it super user permissions, uh, grant it, and it says congratulations, the device is root access, and there you go. Uh, that's it, you are now fully rooted on your HTC One. 
Hopefully this video has helped you out. Please subscribe to me if it did. I would really appreciate it. Check out my how to get free hotspot tethering video uh, as well. I will link to it in the description. And that's it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. Uh, and as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.